Good morning. This morning is a redo. Mainly because for some stupid reason, sometimes this microphone setup, the micro wireless go, picks up all the sound and it sounds amazing. And then other times it just doesn't. So this morning is a redo. Um, and where we're heading down to this morning is Red Car Beach. Uh, early in the morning, hopefully won't see anyone. And uh, yeah, it's pretty epic. The location I've discovered, pretty epic. There is not a lot of clouds in the sky, so I'm going to be looking for more of the foreground features. But then there's a point where the sun will come up and it will just look beautiful. But I need to get in the car and get down there to make sure it does. So I'll see you at the beach. So one of the things I always like to do when I come to the beach is wear wellies. Because you never know whether you're going to end up in the water or not. You never know. Never know at all. So I'm just going to grab my wellies. Got my bag. I'm sorted. So I'm down on Red Cloud Beach this morning and I'm not quite sure what I'm here to photograph. I know it's definitely going to involve these things here, the groins. 100% it's going to involve them. But I'm not quite sure how yet. Um, what I'd quite like to do is get maybe a beach shot where the water's coming over that beach onto the maybe some of these these pork cans over here um, maybe get a shot of that I think that might look quite nice um, maybe some long exposure photography but I'm not 100% sure on what we'll come to get but I know looking at this guy right now it's gonna be good it's gonna be pretty like yeah it's gonna be nice Pretty happy about the conditions this morning. I think, what do you reckon? And that'll make quite a nice shot with them bits of clouds and a little bit of interest. Oh, I'm gonna get set up for this shot, I think. One thing I always like to do is to get my camera set up off the beach way before. So I don't have to mess around getting sand in places that it doesn't need to be and all that kind of stuff. And what I've decided to go for is to have my, to have my um, polarizer already on and use my middle lens, my 24 to 70, my magic one use, one do, does everything lens. And fingers crossed it will, because you know, that's what I like about the 24 to 70. It kind of covers the most important ranges. It goes almost wide enough and almost zoom enough. But I better, get set, I better get some shots done because that sun is coming up quick and fast. So I've got my shot all lined up and I've decided on how I would like it. I think. I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty happy. Um, because the sky doesn't have a huge amount of interest, I'm kind of shooting off towards this pot can and I've decided to put this post here really tall, going out as a diagonal straight out to that pot can, using them reflections down in the sand down here and shooting off and I'm pretty close to the water and it's looking beautiful and the sun's coming up. I should have taken this shot second. Ugh. So, my settings, one second, F11, L10, I'm just doing a straight on shot, nothing complicated, just waiting for a bit of interest to come and then I'm going to quickly grab this shot because it's just not going to be here forever. The sun doesn't come up that slowly. 
Beautiful. Looks stunning. Very happy. First shot. Right. Now to capture what I've come here for. All lined up and I've decided to go for a post here, a post here, a post here, basket and moon, right, uh, sorry, sun right over the top. Um, and I'm going to have to be really quick because I've kind of missed it already, kind of missed it already. And the way I'm going to shoot this is I'm going to focus on the posts in the immediate foreground because they are the focal point, so they need to be pin sharp. Then I'm going to drop that exposure down for the sky and then I'm going to leave the sun very red and very hot. So I need to drop that exposure really far down. And every time I take one of these exposures, I'm going to drop it up there so you can see what it looks like. Now, this isn't the most amazing image ever taken by far. Um, but I didn't know what else to do with it. There is one more shot that I do want to capture and this is going to involve a little bit of a lens swap because I want to capture a nice compression shot shooting that bucket, that pot can and then having the sun in the basket or just above the basket so I'm going to put you down and get set up So I've not quite got the desired effect, which is a shame, um, but it's still a nice image, I think. There we are, look at that. I've got this seagull just out on this post. I've got this other seagull wanting to come and join it, and the sun just off in that corner, and it just looks absolutely magical. Uh, to capture it, because it's not ideal, I'm gonna go into landscape. Yeah, that makes a much nicer shot. And then to focus, I'm going to focus on the actual object itself. Um, and for some magical reason, another seagull tried to land on there and it worked beautifully. Absolutely perfect. Check this out. Now, I'm going to carry on playing with this idea and do a few more little things because they keep on getting seagulls coming towards it and I've got this lovely beam of light coming towards me. I think the images I'm capturing right now are some of the best I've captured this morning, by far. Now I just really want that second seagull to come around and play again. Um, how I've changed my settings to accompany this second se seagull is I've gone up to ISO 125, I've gone down to F6.3 and that's given me a 100 one eight hundredth of a second which if I get that second seagull will work out beautifully um, or if this seagull decides to take off and go for a little bit of a fly um, I just I just need these seagulls to move just to add that extra little bit of interest into that scene as beautiful as this morning is these are definitely working out to be the best shots I've captured so far Oh, I got excited there. I thought there was going to be another seagull. Right, I will see you when I find another seagull. So what I'm starting to do now is the second of the, uh, the seagulls hasn't really arrived, but I'm starting to get interest within the waves. And I'm trying to find a point where the waves fold down and you end up with a gap of light leading all the way out through the waves. And I've got it a couple of times. And here's an example of one I got. And I think that makes the foreground just that much more interesting. 
So you've got the interest in the foreground, you've got the leading line going through the waves, you've got that focal point, you've got the bright light of the sun and the seagull sitting on that branch. Now the sun is starting to get a little bit high now, which is a massive, massive shame, huge shame. But I'm just going to hold out for a little bit longer because there are some seagulls starting to come and this shot would look so much better with two seagulls jostling jostling trying to get a perch so it is way too harsh now um, and I don't know how this morning has gone yet again I've had another morning not that you saw the last one but yet again I've had another morning of busyness rushing around trying to get that shot feeling like I've got loads of time and then realizing I don't have any time at all um, yeah this this morning east coast photography with no clouds in the sky is difficult really really difficult um, so my thoughts for this week because this is the end of the vlog my thoughts for this week is come to the beach choose a spot something you've already got in mind and wait for it capture that one image I'm trying to rush around and capture all these different pictures and all these different shots and because of that I don't think any of them are really that strong which is a shame as beautiful as the morning has been and this has been my one exercise uh, today um, might go walk the dog later isolation but um, yeah yeah it's been all right it's been all right i think it has anyway but i hope you have a lovely week um, with whatever you guys are doing uh, if you find something really good to do inside that's entertaining uh, make sure to hit me up in the comments below because i'm definitely running out of things to do i've even rejoined runescape which was never a good idea but anyway have a lovely weekend and uh yeah i will see you next week peace out